Ukrainians have taken to the streets with arms to defend their country and their freedom. They've prepared Molotov cocktails as makeshift bombs. The threat of tyranny isn't only present in the Third World. In the United States, critics of the Second Amendment have claimed that in modern warfare, small-time weapons are useless as a check on the power of standing armies. The tree of liberty is not water in the blood of patriots. What's happened is that there have never been, if you want to think you need to have weapons to take on the government, you need F-15s and maybe some nuclear weapons. But now, Biden is sending small arms to Ukraine's frontline defenders, and it turns out that weapons of all sorts can help fight off even a nuclear power. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky tweeted he'll give weapons to anyone who wants to defend their country. Ukraine is the only European nation where firearms are not regulated by a statute. Even in peacetime, they were allowed to carry non-fully automatic rifles and shotguns as long as they were stored when not in use. Ban assault weapons with high capacity magazines hold up a hundred rounds. You think the deer are wearing Kevlar vests? No, but unfortunately, hunting isn't the only purpose of a gun. The horrific war in Ukraine reminds us that the right to bear arms is still a check on tyranny.